Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. All right, Mike, we're still dealing with a dense fog advisory out there. Yes, the dense fog advisory goes until midnight here in Waco as well as down in Killeen and over toward the Temple area. Mm -hmm. But the fog, not too bad, at least right now. I just peeked outside here. Take a look, though, at the rain, and we were monitoring that rain as well. So we've got rain, mist, drizzle, and fog to deal with right now across our area, and that's uh, making it for a challenge there on the road. So again, just slow down, give yourself plenty of space, plenty of time to get to where you're going right now. You'll notice that the... Uh, Rain is very, very light here across our region. A little bit, though, falling in McLennan County. And again, some sprinkles for the most part. Most of the uh, steady rain and the heavier rain has pushed off just to our east. But we're going to watch a cold front. That's going to move in later on tonight. And then it kind of reinforce another shot of some rain across the area. But right now, it looks like the heaviest by far is right along uh, I-45 and then off to the east. If you're heading over toward Tyler tonight or Texarkana, it's a wet go. That is for sure. There's the cold front back off to the west. That's what we're watching right now. And that will bring, again, a chance of showers overnight. But it will also start to bring in some drier air behind it which means we'll clear it out just in time for most of your Saturday. How much rainfall has fallen over the last 24 hours? You can see four tenths here in Waco, but only four one hundredths down in the Temple area. Kind of hit and miss on that rain. Some folks pick up quite a bit. Others don't see much whatsoever. And that fog has improved a little bit here in the Waco area, and that's because our winds have picked up just a little bit. You get those winds going, that mixes up the low level clouds, the fog gets on the ground here and then we don't have any, but some spots like up in Hillsboro and down toward the Georgetown area still looking at visibilities between about five and nine miles per hour. And we are looking at that dense fog advisory. It is still out. So again, just be aware some of those low lying areas where the wind can't get you and all that moisture is there. That's where we'll see some of that fog. But again, officially that goes until midnight and we'll keep you posted. You'll notice the temperatures also, they've been kind of a headache to forecast today because we had some 70s showing up down in the Brazos Valley. It's in the upper 60s right now. We were in the 50s and then the 40s were just off to our west. Current temperatures you can see in Brownwood right at 49 degrees. So this is what I expect tonight. This is at midnight, still some widely scattered rain showers, no severe weather in the forecast for tonight. But as that front approaches, it could knock off again a few scattered rain showers across the region. And by early tomorrow morning, I think most of us will be high and dry here in Waco, a few clouds down toward Temple and Queen. But if you're going to be down in the Brazos Valley, that's where the front's going to be hanging out. So you may start the day with a brief shower, but then that will quickly race away. And by lunchtime, all areas looking at mostly sunny skies and actually a pretty nice looking day here across our area with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s for highs. And then high pressure builds in for later on tonight. I should say Saturday night, and that means we are going to get ready for a cold morning on Sunday. Look at this. We're talking freezing temperatures, a lot of 32s and 33s here across the board. And then that high continues to sink right on down the pike there, and that should allow temperatures again to climb into the 50s here across our area. Tonight, though, we're going to keep it cloudy. Some pockets of rain, some drizzle, some fog, some mist. 52 degrees will be the low temperature. Winds out of the west at 5 to 15 miles per hour. And then tomorrow, there's that 20% chance of a sprinkle or two. That's going to be south, south of Waco, south even of Temple and Colleen. Otherwise, clearing skies, I think the afternoon, mostly sunny skies. We may see mostly sunny skies here by late morning. 59 degrees will be the high westerly winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Take a look at the Louisiana Crab Shack 7-day forecast. Sunshine on Sunday, 54 degrees. And then next week, the general trend is some cooler than average temperatures. Average temperatures should be in the upper 50s to around 60, but we're going to be a little bit below average with a chance of showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday as well as Thursday. That's a front coming through there, and it kind of drops temperatures a little bit there on Friday. Nighttime lows will be in the 30s and 40s. And if you're going to be down toward Bryan and College Station, again, tomorrow it's going to be wet at least through maybe mid-morning tomorrow. Then we clear it out. 65 degrees the high. Looks great on Sunday. And then by next week, again, temperatures running a little bit below average with rain moving in late Wednesday. Better chance of rain on Thursday, and you can see temperatures in the 60s. Those nighttime lows will be in the 30s and in the 40s.